हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ईसीजी द इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफ अ ग्राफ व्हिच इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ द हार्ट अ ग्राफ व्हिच इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ द हार्ट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द एग्जाम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट्स लर्न इट वेरी डीपली ईसीजी this is the definition of ecg if you will try to learn it like this you will find it difficult but if you will try to understand each and every word this definition become very easy for you now let it break ecg is a graphical representation first term ecg is a graphical representation of an electrical activity we know that heart produces electrical impulses so ecg is a graphical representation of an electrical activity of the heart during a cardiac cycle now we can say ecg is a graphical representation of an electrical activity of the heart during a cardiac cycle if you will left this term this term among these three if you will leave any term your definition will be wrong so these three terms are very important in the definition now the process of ecg in the process of ecg there are six main leads or the electrodes four two we use in the legs two hands and two main chest electrodes this is the ecg machine having a graph which is recording the impulses now let's first learn about these two term the depolarization and the repolarization for the learning d means doing r means relaxation so d doing doing is the phase of excitation contraction or we can say the systole phase of the chamber relaxation means repolarization the resting phase or we can say the diastole phase of the heart so d doing depolarization means excitation contraction or the systole phase repolarization means resting phase the relaxation phase the diastole phase of the chambers learn these terms here only because i am going to use these term throughout the video d doing depolarization working phase repolarization resting or relaxation phase now this is the graphical rep representation of the electrical activities concentrate on three main points the p wave the q r s complex and the t wave this graphical representation of the electricity is showing the cardiac cycle also p the p wave represent the arterial contraction we know the cardiac cycle start with the arterial contraction so this arterial depolarization means the working phase or the doing phase so the arterial depolarization means the contraction phase first cardiac cycle start with the contraction of the arteria so p is showing the arterial contraction we know just after arterial contraction what occurs the contraction in the ventricle occurs so just after the arterial contraction the contraction of the ventricle occur q r s complex is showing the contraction in the ventricle just after the contraction of the ventricle what happens the relaxation phase of the ventricle occurs so p is representing the relaxation phase now again see arterial depolarization just after arterial depolarization which is rep represented by p comes the qrs complex the ventricular depolarization and just after that comes the t point mean the ventricular repolarization this is a complete cardiac cycle now this picture is showing a group of three things the impulse initiation the neuromuscular tissue the graph 
and the cardiac cycle represented by the heart now let's learn them one by one first of all cardiac cycle start with the arterial depolarization or arterial contraction this is represented by the p wave we know that cardiac cycle starts with the impulse created by the sa node so when sa node creates impulse then arterial contraction start this is represented by p now this impulse is transferred to the qrs complex this impulse is going now it's not in p or not on q r s it's in between them so here the arteria is in full contraction now the sa node is transferring its impulse to the av node as trans it's it is transferring its impulse to the av node contraction in the ventricle start here you can see contraction in the ventricle start so in the graph you can see now impulse is on the qrs complex now from qrs complex the wave the impulse will go to the t what is t t is the relaxation phase of the ventricle so after the full contraction of the ventricle now the impulse is going to the t which side to the relaxation side so when av node transfers its impulse to the bundle of his and purkinje fiber now contraction after full contraction relaxation start as relaxation start this graph is representing point t means the relaxation phase of the cardiac cycle or the chambers and mainly the relaxation phase of the ventricle so here we we can see full relaxation phase is completed so now from t it's again coming back to the p point so like this a graph completes a complete cardiac cycle now significance of ecg we can determine heart rate of an individual difference in shape of ecg can determine the possible abnormality or a disease generally shape is like this but any change in this shape like this or sometime it's one point is missing from these graphs we can or a doctor can check the abnormality in the ecg or can identify any disease in this video we have learned about the ecg the process of ecg and the concept of ecg and the abnormality we can find out because of ecg i hope you have liked this video thank you